Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Appium series, today we are going to see how do you use the scroll operation or the scroll method which we discussed in our previous session the, by using the your pointer input and the sequence class, right? And we were telling that it is useful and also cross-platform support. It means that you can use this particular scroll method in Android and in iOS, irrespective of their platform. And also you can use any kind of directions like up, down, left and right, right? We have extensively discussed about the steps, how to perform this one. Now we will see how we can perform the same operation into the Android. It should be quick enough, but then we have discussed already if you are not sure how this uh, scroll works, you can watch my previous session to get more understanding. Now to install this Android application, you can go back to the web driver IO GitHub project. In that you can go to the releases and you can see the .apk file which you can install in this. You just need to download this and drag and drop to your simulator. That's pretty much it. You just need to do that. And as you open it, it goes to this particular screen. Then you need to click on this swipe and then you can do a vertical scrolling or a horizontal scrolling as well. It's similar as the iOS, which we have seen that it's just a different platform to verify if this scroll method really works well or not. And for this, I will be creating a copy of that and I will be pasting it and will rename this one. Uh, paste and then instead of iOS, let me put it as Android and then couple of things I need to change it here actually like instead of Xquit test I will be using the Android UI automator too, right? So let me copy paste that so I will simply copy paste from here to this Android one and this section right and uh, and here a couple of things I need to change. I, my OS is 12.0 and then emulator 554. If you're not sure how to do that, open your terminal, launch your simulator and then say ADV devices. And you can see that emulator hyphen 554. If you are using a real device, this name would be different. Okay, fine then. Now I need to change this to set app package and app activity, right? Because this is redirecting to a different app package and app activity. So let me copy paste that. We do have that here. So I'll just copy that real quick and paste it. Oops, not that. I think this two lines. Control C. Come back here. Control V. That's it. And then uh, you need to get the accessibility ID. Now, I have already checked into the IPM inspector just to save time. This swipe is pretty much the same as the iOS swipe locator only. It has an accessibility ID of swipe actually. So I have kept that. And this line is not required. And then I will be using the scroll, scroll direction down and you can see because I copy pasted all of my methods are here. The scroll operation, the swipe and everything. I need to call this scroll method will give the direction. That direction is coming from any one of these enum variables, right? Scroll ratio, I can give how much I really need to scroll it. We have already discussed about this as well. So let's say that I want to do a down scroll and let's say that I want to do a 50% of scrolling. I mean 50% in this sense, if I go to this, this is my midpoint. Now on this particular length, right, I want to do 50%. So from here to here, I need to scroll. So it will go in this point and it will drag into this point. That is my up and down scrolling. And here, this is my midpoint, let's say. So I need to do like from this point to this point, it will be dragging it. That is nothing but this swipe operation. Okay. And, uh, so normally what happens, I've tried a couple of times after you click on this swipe, right? You need to give a couple of weights uh, in this. This is a demo project. So that's why I'm really not uh, like from home. You need to click on this swipe and then you have to identify this by using explicit weight or something. But here for the safer side, I'm giving a two second wait after it navigated. Then I'm using the scroll direction down with a 50% of the scroll ratio. Then I'm doing a one second wait. Then I'm taking up actually because I need to reset actually. See, when you are doing here, right? I cannot do the horizontal scrolling. That's why 
I need to first uh, like scroll down then up and then I need to do a right scrolling you can see this is my right scrolling because see you can think about this now let's say there is a scroll bar here now to go left what you need to do you need to drag your scroll bar towards right right so that is what you need to specify here this is very important most of the people get confused like what I need to really do that it's always opposite the way that you want to the direction of your scroll is always opposite to the content move actually like you can see the content is moving towards left because the right side we have scope actually to scroll now that is what actually I'm specifying here even you can also call this method here you can also do a left so that you can see all the four directions and every uh, step I'm just giving a two seconds because you need to perform certain things right after you're moving or scrolling something that is what I'm trying to do okay fine then so now I'm going to run my Appium server because I'm using the Appium 2.x and you should see that 2.0 beta version and my Appium is running my code is ready my simulator is up and running I will just kill this particular app so that it will go from scratch and then let's run this test and I will be putting the server and the simulator side by side and you can see it clicked on swipe and you it's going down then it goes up I think the up whatever it is going right you can see the down pro pro proportion is not equal to the up proportion that's why it scrolled a bit let's see what is the up proportion I have given here you can see I have given 0 0.5 as down but the up I have given smaller that's why it didn't really go up to that mark because how much you are scrolling down that much you need to go up actually to to go to the original position that is the problem so now we have reset that properly and let me just uh, remove from the recent applications my Appium server is running and I'm running my code base as well and it clicked on this swipe it goes down then it will go up right and then it will go towards left again yep and then it should close the app so that is how actually you can use the scroll operation for both android and ios and also all the directions and don't worry about that i copy pasted and you can see the repetitive of the code right here everything i'm keeping let's say that in five of your test cases also you want the scroll operation now i cannot copy paste these scroll methods into each of these file right so i need to keep it as a separate uh, util method and then i need to call this whenever i need that so don't worry about that we will be looking into the uh, like how you can extensively use this util methods across your framework without rewriting that in separate files so we have already seen a long back and uh, if you remember the appium migration from 7 to 8.x the java client we have seen that so i will be copy pasting that uh, like if you go to my github repo right let me quickly show you that so you can go to the github and here like if you go to this repository and this one right so i we have already migrated this one from uh, your what do you call the 7 dot uh, x to 8.x and i have already cleaned up everything and you can see still we have set in base packages and everything so if you go to this util.java right we have already specified these things so swipe operation and then scroll like this will accept all the directions set in clicking operation send keys wait for element i will be using this particular what you call util method and also the way that we are handling the ipm and everything and we will automate another application to kind of utilize the page object model for both android and ios so there are actually like just to give a brief i have two repos related to the appium 
so this apium test java android ios this is more based on a framework standpoint this apium topics which i am talking about into this repo this should always contain certain uh, all the apium topics that we are learning see all the apium topics right whichever we are learning that may not be applicable to your framework designing like for an instance i am going to talk about the uh, your picker wheels here now these picker wheels may not be uh, i am using as a way or as a business flow in my framework right so keep an eye into these two repos and then you will be getting to know more about that okay so that's pretty much it about this and then there are different ways of scrolling as well which we will be discussing by taking different applications like your uh, ios contact application your android contact application and we'll use those concepts into there so stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't thank you for watching